So I've collected some field survey data in EpiCollect 5, downloaded that data and it's come up as a zip file. So what I need to do is to extract that zip to get a file that I can incorporate into QGIS. So I'm just going to right click on that and all you need to do is to go to extract all and what will then pop up is a CSV file which you can open up in Excel if you'd like to check out or any other text editor. So what I'm going to do now is to head over to QGIS and bring that file in and hopefully those field data points are going to sit over the top of my drone survey. So on the left hand side over here, you can see there's the ability to add in this delimited text layer. So this is going to be our comma separated file that we're adding in here. Now what I'm going to do is just to navigate to the, the file that I'm interested in and hit open for that. And now we're just going to check through some of these different options to make sure that we're getting everything right. So yes, it is a CSV file, which it's automatically recognized, which is great. Let's have a look at our record and field options. We do want to double check that the first record has field names because when you have a look down the bottom, you can see what the table is going to look like when it comes in. And that first row is information or names of those individual records. It's not, it's not a record itself. So that's great that has that ticked on. Now the next one we want to have a look at is the geometry definition. So this is going to allow the software to understand what the X and Y coordinates or latitude and longitude coordinates are. So let's have a scroll over in the table below and have a look and make sure we've got our latitude and longitude in there, which is great. So our X field is going to be the longitude field and the Y field will be the latitude. Now we're just checking that we're all good with the geometry or the, the projection and coordinate system that's going to be used. And once we're all happy with that, all we need to do is hit add. So we'll see that that has actually popped up and it's a really good start just to see that at least it's in the general area where we know that we were collecting data. Now the next thing we'd like to do is just to make sure that the data points are what they say they are. So let's have a look. We can use this identify features tool. So if we click on that and we can use that to select individual points and see what they are. So that's popped up and it says it's sand, which I'm pretty happy with that. When I look at the drone imagery, definitely sand. I can even see some sea cucumbers hanging out there. And perhaps I can have a look at this particular dot here. Got some live coral and we've got some dead coral there as well. So really happy that those points are in the location where they should be, which is reassuring me that the drone data is good, the field data is, or the image data is all good. And now we can use that for calibrating and validating any classification that we create.